afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks. Forrest Whitley, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're going to get a that chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down Eddie. throughout points of his career. Yeah. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully, he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Into the box, Matt Beatty. He'll get to take Batting his first seven. cuts here. The first baseman, Matt Beatty. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Digging in now, DJ Peters. Opportunity for him here to pick the up that runner Peter. from second with two DJ away. Peter. The one two. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A ball walk, that's carrying. Walk, walk. On the warning track, he makes the catch. One. They trail it here, two to nothing. Leading off for Arizona. Now to the plate, Eddie the James. Field. He flew Eddie. out in his last at bat. Yeah. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. All ready to go in the Leading top of the fifth. Arizona. And coming forward, the, the veteran field. outfielder, Eddie, Eddie James. Yeah. Here's the first pitch to him. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, on, and he'll step on out. first Come himself on. for the out. Into the box now, Eddie James. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Eddie James. Hey, get your pitch up there, kid. Let's go now. Hey, get your good one up there. Huh? First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, and he can't hang on. Throw on to oh. first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. One left for Arizona as they're unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Ready for another shot now. The Ty batter. France, the one for two on his line so Stop. far in the game. Brent. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. No runs, a hit to left. We're through six full. It's the Diamondbacks five, and the Dodgers nothing. Josh Fuentes will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Pinch hitting for the Diamondbacks. Number eight. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never...
afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Cleveland Indians. Interleague baseball next. Kyle Cody, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Great job there by this power hitter. In now for Cleveland, Nate Lowe looking to get on the base and keep this first inning alive. Nate. Sent out to straightaway center field. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Indians go down 1-2-3. They still trail 1-0. Leading off the inning, Josh Naylor as they look to get something Indians. going here and even this game the up. Designated hitter, Josh Naylor. Swing and there it goes, deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to left, and with it, the Indians have leveled the score at one apiece. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be... Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Ralph Velasmo. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And he popped him up. Lewis into shallow left, but he won't get there. It falls in. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Striding in for the Indians, Ralph Velasmo hit in two tries so far. Second baseman, Ralph. Popped him up. Lewis is calling for it. In there, a base hit. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put-away pitch, works to count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. Right, Digging on, in once again, now Eddie batting. James. Left he got on top of one and was Eddie. a ground-out victim last hey. time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Pena will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Bo Naylor will come on to pinch hit here in a big... Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory. The and look on.
afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Levi Kelly, a West Virginian, gets the call to start this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? The left hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. It remains 1-0. All set for the start of the fourth. Leading off and here the comes the first baseman, the first Marshall baseman. Busby. Marshall Busby. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, now Eddie back. James comes into this at bat Eddie. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's a swing and a long now drive back. high in the air and deep to center field. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Two run shot to straight away center, and it gives the Diamondbacks a 3 to 1 lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And Maybe set to go is the third baseman, the third Carter Keboom. Number eight. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is there and he'll bring this one in. Eddie James will stand in again as we Leading flash you back here to the fourth back. inning. This was a no two run field. home run that was Eddie. definitely one of the big blows Eddie. of the ball game to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound. And a good throw gets him one gone. Bo Naylor is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Six to three, the final score today. The Arizona Diamondbacks.
We are under the lights this evening as we and get now, you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, Kansas an intriguing City matchup Royals. between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Kansas City Royals. Jimmy Wood makes his much-anticipated debut. Scotty Jonko, the Mississippi native, will be on the mound in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? This that guy has good. three pitches that he brings into his mix. Eddie. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. Two out, nobody on. Drilled to the right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. So a runner at first with two away, and in at the plate steps the Keston Hura. Keston Hura. And there he goes towards second. Weakly hit to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. One left for Arizona, and now the Royals get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Standing in, Eddie James. He reached on a single in his first try. Now the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Acuna on the move. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is He's safe at He's second safe. base as he legs out a double. Coming to the plate now, Keston Hiura. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. James, the runner at second with one away. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw goes to third. And he is hung out to dry as they tag him out. Digging in now for Kansas City. Andrew Vaughn. Now batting. The first baseman. Andrew Vaughn. A one count. Here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. KC down in order. We played three full. We're tied at one. So next to the plate for the Royals, Jason Guzman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Bases are loaded with only one out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Royals settle for just the one. We played four full. Royals out in front, two to one. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Eddie James. Things not looking very good. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. No up hits to this point. Back. The second base, Keston Hura. Now a pickoff play at second. No, and he has to there. dive, but he's back in easily. Now a spin and another he's throw there, back to safe. second. And he'll dive back in. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. 
Domingo Leyva will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Domingo Leyva. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one. The Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Number 27 makes his big league debut right after this. Casey Mize, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What do you Bad have for dirt. us on him, Danny? The left hey, it just goes to show you how Eddie. tough it is to pitch in today's Eddie. game. This guy has a career ERA. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that is off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has Batting a chance four. to drive in the first run of the game. Base. The one-two pitch. Runner goes You're for third. Out. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through into left, a base hit. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher's standpoint, Dero. You get the first two out of the inning. So coming to the up plate, the Eddie Diamondback. James. He'll try the to follow fielder. up the double in his Eddie. last at-bat with another yeah. big hit right here. He pulls this one into right. McKenna is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in, Eddie James, one for two with a double on the ledger Eddie. so far. Here's the first pitch to him. And it's belted high and deep into right center. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So it's a two-run shot to right center as the D-backs have now taken a three-to-nothing lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. 3-1 to one the final score this afternoon. The D-backs jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Casey Mize gets the W on the mound. Daniel Espino was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
afternoon baseball here on now, the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. It's interleague baseball on the show. Evan Krasinski, a left-hander from Wisconsin, will get the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times, he can be good, and at times, he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting that to see third. which guy shows up in this one here today. Eddie. Yeah. Swung on and belted. A solo shot here to left, and the Diamondbacks strike first. It's one to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Up next for the Rangers, Edgar now Gonzalez. Better. 0 the for 1 here player. in the early going. Edgar. Gonzalez. Here's a fly ball well hit. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Three innings complete. D-backs lead it one to nothing. At the plate, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Now here's the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. At the plate, Corey Lee. The catcher, number 35. 3-2 Three, pitch. Corey. Pulls this Lee. one in the air out to left. And that's in there, base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. Your Jeffrey Ramos please. will come on now pinch as the pinch hitter. Arizona. Number 37, Jeffrey Ramos. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Diamondbacks jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Corbin Martin takes... 